I'm Alex Letourneau, and this is Mining Minutes Wrap-Up. This week, we'll be joined by Lenik Rodriguez, President and Chief Executive Officer of Orcana Corp. Stay tuned. Orcana managed to raise its resource estimates at the La Negra mine by from 2.3 million ounces to over 115 million ounces. So joining me today is Lenik Rodriguez. Lenik, how are you? Thank you for having me. Orcana announced Tuesday an updated 43101 resource estimate for the La Negra mine in Mexico. Lenik, tell us a bit about it. Uh, well, uh, you you'll know that uh, we've been working on this for over two years in the exploration, and we have had done just one uh, 43101 uh, estimate, which was done five years ago. So we were behind in this effort. Uh, one of the reasons was we didn't have the resources, uh, economic resources, but now we do have them, and we have uh, 11 geologists on staff at La Negra, and uh, we continue drilling every day. And uh, we have now set up the protocol according to the guidelines that uh, Bert Albert gave us, and they have visited the mine several times. And this is an exercise that we'll keep on repeating uh, on a continuous basis, uh, regularly as we can. It's not every day that a company announces such a massive jump in resources. Uh, were you expecting this? No, we were expecting a good increase in resources because of the results that we see the every day. But uh, it was a little bit of a surprise for us and our geologists as well. Reason being that uh, we provided all the information that we had to Bert Albert so that we could create the database. And um, and yes, we were surprised, but Bert Albert said, this is what it is, guys, and relax. Um, you are free and go ahead and please uh, release the news, which is what we did. How is it that Lenegra's resources rose as significantly as they did? Well, as I mentioned, uh, there had been not uh, a 43101 resource estimate done in five years, and there had been no uh, exploration at La Negra until the last perhaps 18 months. And now we have a very good uh, mining geologist that used to be uh, the mine geologist um, for uh, Grupo Mexico at the San Martin mine. And uh, he is telling me that uh, the type of uh, intercepts that we get at La Negra are as good or, as be or better as, uh, as San Martin. So those are the results. Okay, Lenik, to wrap up, what do you think this might mean for the silver market? Well, it's hard to know. I mean, the silver market is uh, pretty big, but of course, uh, this is a significant uh, resource expansion. I hope it will uh, tell the market what kind of mine we have at La Negra. In my opinion, it's one of the largest uh, CRD deposits uh, known to date. And we will continue the exploration now on the northwest trend, uh, where the ha grades are higher, and at depth, where the source of the mineralization is expected to be found, um, the, then the copper grades increase at that level. That was perfect, Lennox. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it, Alexander. And thank you for tuning in this week for Mining Minutes Wrap-Up. I'm Alex Letourneau. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to newsfeedback at kitco.com. Now we'll leave you with this week's movers and shakers. Mm -hmm.